Hi friends, today we're going to talk about a reading skill called author's purpose. An author's purpose is just why a, an author or a writer writes a story. So there are a couple of different reasons why authors write stories. And they could either write a story to persuade the reader, to inform the reader, or to entertain the reader. Persuade means that the author is writing to get you to change your mind and to agree with what the author is saying and what he or she thinks. So can you think of something that you have actually written lately um, that you were trying to persuade the reader to think a certain way? That's right, your opinion piece of writing that you've been working on these past couple of weeks. You are trying to persuade the reader to think a certain way or to make the reader believe that the way that you're thinking is what they should think as well. So there's also um, an author would write to inform the reader. And so to inform the reader, those are going to be our nonfiction books when it talks about when we, talk, when we read books about certain animals or places, and it gives us information. It's trying to teach us something. And then authors can also write to entertain. So those are going to be our fiction books that are usually picture books and chapter books as well too, but it might be that the author is writing to make you laugh or just to present an interesting story, usually a made-up story. So um, a good way for us to remember author's purposes for writing is that we can look at the first letter in each of these words. So P, I, E. What does P, I, E spell? I'll give you a hint. There's a picture over here on the side. P, I, E spells pie. So when you think of the word pie, I want you to remember that that is author, those are the author's purposes, persuade, inform, inform, and entertain. So I'm going to have you listen and watch a video that um, has a catchy little song that will help you remember author's purpose. So let's watch that now.
Isn't that a fun song? I like that. And that will help you remember author's purpose. So today we're really going to talk about persuade, the author's purpose of persuade. So just a reminder, persuade is when the writer tries to convince someone of something. And some synonyms to persuade can be influence, convince, believe, entice, and sway. So those are all words that also mean persuade. And again, you have been working on persuading the reader when you have worked on your opinion piece of writing these past couple of weeks. Now, in our story this week, I don't want to be a frog. Now, the author of this story, Deb Petty, he wrote this book to entertain you. It's a pretty silly story, right? But in the story, the frog, the little frog is trying to persuade his dad and tell him that he wants to be a different kind of animal. And he gives his dad all these different reasons why he does not want to be a frog anymore. Do you remember some of the reasons that he gives his dad? He doesn't want to be wet. He doesn't want to be slimy. And then do you remember some of the animals he says that he wants to be? He says he wants to be, he would rather be a pig or a cat or a rabbit or an owl, something cute and warm. So he's trying to persuade his dad to be a different kind of animal. So friends, just remember that when you are working on your opinion writing, finishing it, finishing it up this week, that you are actually writing to persuade the reader. Um, later on this week, we're going to come back and talk about the other two authors' purposes of inform and entertain. Have a wonderful day, friends.